good morning, folks. Tagging groups. Getting everybody all primed up. And getting ready to go. Hope everybody's feeling good today. As we get ready to get started. What's up, Rasta? I see you over there. I know you ain't came to work out today. You might have. You never know. If you did. came to the right place. Ooh. All right. So for everybody that's watching, big time hit session, you know, today, hit and abs. Oh, we ain't got an internet connection today. Let's get my life right. There we go. There's my guy right there. It's a flashback. Hope everybody's feeling good this morning. Get ready to take off with a nice, lightweight cardio hit day. It should be a good time, folks. You'll enjoy it. Uh, we've done this workout a few times before. And this is going to be the opportunity to test how well you've adapted over time. And uh, we're going to combine that with something else today. So... Work a little core. So it's going to be a good combination of ab work and, ooh, I can't, there we go. Okay, life is a lot better now. I was worried about my focus for a minute. Tell you what, it's hard to get these cameras all set up before the kids get out of here. Shed a little light into the sky. Got a good overcast today. Still, it's always better with some natural light in the building. There we go. How's everybody doing? Ooh. All right, peeps. Happy Saturday morning. Well, the folks that just chimed in on Instagram, I was just telling the people on Facebook that today we are going to hit, we're actually going to do hit. It's going to be a hit workout today, which will be a combination of some cardio and some plyometrics. Should be a good one. You see, I got my little baby weights back there. So all you're going to do, all you're going to need is something in the ballpark of uh, five to 10 pounds. Five to 10 pounds is all you need. And that should set you up for success. I'm going to stick with the 10 pounders. That's what I typically work out with when I do this style of cardio hit exercise. You know, so you can level up to that or you can back it down a little bit. And uh, just kind of stick to the script. Let's see what we got going on over here. I'm trying to get my music situation together. Sorry, y'all, I got into my little days. <laughs> there we go. All right. <sighs> okay, so make sure as we get ready, you do a couple things. We got water. That's good. Make sure you get a towel. Got a towel. We're going to do a combination of hit combined with some core work. So, Keep your 10 pound weights, five pound weights around for the tail end. We'll go through these hit moves, time-based intervals. So it's gonna be some fun stuff. We'll have some holes. We'll have some activity, some total body work. It's gonna be a good workout. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge today, but there's always modifications. Most of the hit stuff is real simplistic. You're not doing any major acrobatic moves, nothing like that. 
but it's definitely a good time. Make sure I got my other people chimed in the right way. You know what? I don't. There we go. I know my IG folks are. I've been waiting on me. I've been over here just talking. All right, now we're set. All right, folks, y'all ready to get it in? Okay, so once again, for the cheap seats, today is gonna be a hit day. Uh, all you need is some light dumbbells. I got my two 10 pounders. You can use anything between five and 10. And uh, we'll do some light lifts, some holds, and a lot of body movement today. Everything will be time-based, so just get ready for that. But instead of just doing that hit exercise, we're gonna take things to the floor afterwards and get in some core work as well. I know a lot of folks have been asking about some core work. I'll take you through a couple of cycles of some things we can do. Once again, all simplistic moves, so you don't have to be like a super athlete to do any of this stuff. But we wanna do what we can to get your body moving, make your body work, and get the most out of these workouts. So with all of that being said, you crank everything up to the right level. Let's start it up with, first of all, setting up your activity tracker to high intensity interval training. That's gonna get us where we need to be. Make sure you got your water, make sure you got your towel. Dumbbells on deck. I had Austin's old shoes, I decided to go with these. They just, I've been wearing these out, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. So, no more talking, let's get it started. Light jogging, three, two, one, let's go. Let's work those feet. Ease into it. Three, two, one. All right, let's turn, twist. We got ourselves nice and loose. Twist that torso. Loosen up that spine. Loosen up that core. Because we're going to work it today. Three, two, one. Let's alternate kicks. As we start to rev things up a little bit. Today, kick. If you can't go that high, it's okay. You gotta go low. Okay, just go low. Hit that knee. But get your body moving. One more each side. That's one. All right. Body weight squats in three, two, one. That's one. Two. Three. Four. I always worry about if I mess up my count. I'm pretty sure I have. They give me two more. That's one and two. All right. Let's grab those knees. Pull. Switch. Pull. You know, switch it up. Pull and go out. Work those hips as well. Pull and go out. Pull and then out. Pull and then out. One more each side. Pull out. Pull out. All right. Let's jump around a little bit. We're ready to get started. First exercise is gonna be our squat press hold, all right? It's gonna be a 90 minute exercise. What we'll do is we'll have 20 seconds where we have the dumbbells in hand, hold in here, we'll squat, we'll press overhead. You don't have to do it real fast. It's nice, solid pace. We'll do it for 20 seconds and then we'll hold for 20 seconds. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. We will do it for 20 seconds and we'll hold for 10 seconds. It'd be a total of 90 seconds, all right? Get your mind right, get your sip of water, get yourself dialed in, and we're about to jump this thing off. All right, folks, grab your weights. Get my clock started. And we are ready to go. Ooh, that was gonna be a mess right there. Here we go, get your weights. Time to get it in, all right. We're going in four, three, two, let's go. Squat, press, squat, press, squat, press. Work the 10 pounds. It's easy money. Come on. All right, in 10 seconds, we'll hold the weight. Five, four, three, two, hold right here. Spread those legs wider if you got to to get low into that squat. Hold it right here. We're going back in four, three, two, let's go. Up, down. You should be hitting the groove now. You should be loosening up. Get your breathing together. Press. Keep those elbows wide. Come on. Ten seconds. We do our next hold. Four, three, two, hold. Knees wide, elbows wide. Let's go. 
Six more seconds. Four, three, two, let's go. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Come on. Ten more seconds. We got our last hold. Five, four, three, two, press, get down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Come out of it. All right. Next exercise will be a run. So it's basically a high knee sprint. 60 second exercise where we will run just like this at a medium pace. If you can keep it from being slow, that's fine. If you gotta slow it down, perfectly all right. Get yourself some water. We'll start in about 20 seconds. Wipe down, get your towel. We're going in five. Four, three, two, I'll turn sideways and go. Come on, bring those knees up. Drive those arms. If you can't do this, slow it down. And just walk it or bring those knees high. Come on, let's go. But make sure you swing the arms. Half the time when people run, they forget to swing their arms. The arms are part of the momentum. They help drive the core. They help you get the knees up. Let's go. Come on, 30 seconds left. Let's go, folks. Keep it going, you got it. Come on, 15 seconds left. Stay with it. Keep driving the knees. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Sip of water. Whew. Hey, that one right there gets me started. Get your breath. Go through your nose. Out through your mouth. Next exercise. Move be squat, squat jumps, and holds. So here's the, here's the cycle. We'll squat, raise up, squat, then jump. We'll squat, raise up, squat, then jump. Okay, so alternate between that. We'll do it for 90 seconds, 20 seconds active, 10 seconds hold, okay? Get your mind right, folks. Here we go. 10 seconds. We start. In five, four, three, two, let's go. Squat. Jump. Squat. Jump. Come on. Try to get some air. If you can't jump, just raise to your tiptoes, okay? Four. Three. Two. Hold. Get low. Stay right here. Get low. Five. Four. Three. Two, let's go. Squat. And jump. 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 Squat. Hold. Get low. Breathe. Stay with it. We're jumping in four. Three. Two, let's go. Squat. And jump. Squat. And jump. Squat. And jump. Squat. And jump. Come on, folks. Seven seconds till we do our last hold. Two. And hold. Stay here. Get into it. Spread the knees. Get low. Three. Two. And rest. Woo! Ah. Love that one. Get a simple water. Move to the next exercise. I think it's exercise four. 
All right, what we'll do is we'll get our dumbbells. Three different exercises, okay? 15 seconds each exercise. We'll start off with the mountain climber. The way I like to do this is I don't like to rest my hands on my weights when I do a mountain climbers. Put my hands on the ground. Ground those knees. Okay? Then we'll switch. Get the dumbbells. We do plank rows. Row. Just like this, okay? When we're done with that, we'll just hold. Okay? 15 seconds. So we'll do death cycle, three different movements, two times, okay? 15 seconds each exercise. Alright, everybody ready? Let me get my time. to we'll put it on the ground. We're gonna jump up in about 10 seconds. Alright, start with the mountain climbers. Alright, we're going in five, four, three, two, let's go. Mountain climbers. Back flat, drive those knees. Hands under your shoulders. Come on. Five more seconds. All right, switch. Get the weights. Let's go. Row. 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 Keep the elbows close to the sides. Row. Four. Three. Two. Get one more row. Hold. Hold the plank. Come on, folks. You got it. 10 more seconds. Breathe. Five, four, three, two. Mountain climber. Let's go. Grind. Come on, folks. Keep that butt out the air. Come on. Drive the knees. Five, four, three, two. Spread your legs. Let's go. Row. Row. Keep that back flat. Row. Row. 10 seconds left. Row. Five, four, three, two, hold. Stay flat. Flat back. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, rest. Woo! Good job, folks. Great job. Let's get those out of the way. All right. We will get one weight. Next exercise will be sumo squat holds. Wipe down. Get a sip of water. And what we'll do is you know how to do a sumo squat. Get the weight. Get on the feet. Get the weight. Hold it in front. Spread your legs. Toes out. We'll squat for 20 seconds. 10 second holds, okay? You ready? All right. Get your sip. Wipe yourself down. We're starting in 10 seconds. All right, folks, so get ready. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Down, up. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Let's go. Spread those knees. Come on. 10 more seconds. Stay with it. Five, four, three, two, down, and hold. I'll turn this way. So I get ready for the next. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. down. up. Notice how. Squeeze the glutes at the top. 10 more seconds. Back stays upright. Stomach stays tight. Weight stays close to your chest. Three, two, down and hold. Let's go. Come on. We're going back in five, four, three, two, let's go. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Keep good form. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Come on, folks. You got it. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and hold. Stay low. We're almost done. Stomach tight. Weight close to your chest. Three, two, rest. Good job, folks. 
Come out of that. Shake your legs off. I know they're burning. Get you a sip. Wipe down. How's everybody feeling today? Hey, heart rate should be good. Calories should be burning. And we get into the swing of things. All right. What is this? Exercise number six. We're hitting the halfway point. And these are going to be what's called weighted burpees, one arm holds. Okay? So once again, we will do burpees. All right? Real simple. Keep the weights in our hands. All right, to the ground. Feet out. Feet in. Raise up. Okay? We'll do that for 30 seconds. And then for 15 seconds, we'll get to the ground. One hand in the air, opposite leg in the air. And we'll do that for 15 seconds, okay? And we'll do that twice. But remember, when you go to the second plank hold with one arm, switch arms, switch feet. Okay, so when I'm planking and holding on my right arm, my left foot is in the air, okay? All right, let's get it right. Come on, people. We get started in 10 seconds. We're starting with our burpees, okay? We're going in five, four, three, two, let's go. And up. Down. And up. Down. Hands at the hips. Weight on the ground. Don't forget to bend your knees. All right? Don't put a lot of pressure on your back. When you go to the plate, just make sure you go flat. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, stay down. One arm planks. Let's go. Woo! If you can't do it this way, drop to a knee. So you can get up, stay up with you. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, get your weights back to the burpees. Back up. I'll switch this way so you can see me. Come on. 20 seconds left. Then we bounce on the other arm. 10 seconds, let's go. Five, four, three, two, down, let's go. Stay flat, folks. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo! How was that? Good job, people. All right, let's get the weights out of the way. Get a sip of water. Get your towel. Into the second hand. All right, first exercise. First exercise, oh, well, sorry. First exercise of the second half is gonna be plyo push-up pose. All right? You get here in a push-up position. Probably the toughest exercise we'll do today. You get here, down, and push yourself off the ground. Down, off the ground. We'll do that for 20 seconds, and then we'll do a low push-up hold right here, okay? Now, it's hard to do a regular push-up for the entire 90 seconds, okay? So, if you have to, go to the modified form and push up, all right? And if that becomes a struggle, don't ply them. Just do regular push-ups, just like this. But if you want that extra bump, ply them to get your hands off the ground. Look at my knees with respect to my butt. My knees are not right here. I'm not doing this push-up like this. I'm doing this push-up with an angle in my body and going to the ground. That's how we get the most out of it, okay? All right, so don't forget, 20-second plyo push-ups, 10-second hold, okay? Here we go. All right, toughest move of the day. Everything else is great. We're starting off in five, four, three, two. All right, folks, let's go. Down, push, come on. Down, push, down, push, down, push, down. Push. Come on. Eight seconds and then we do our hold. Don't let that chest touch the ground. Get low. One more push. And go low hold. Now. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. 
four, three, two. I'm going to my knees. Stay plyo. Come on. My chest is burning. Stand with it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Ten more seconds. Then we do our hold. Come on. Five, four, three, two. One more plyo. Let's get low. Ten more seconds. Let's go. My chest is off the ground. If you got to do it from your knees, that's fine. Three, two, one. Let's go. Fly up. Stay up. And under. If you can't fly up no more, just do push-ups. But fly up if you can. Come on. Ten more seconds left. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Low hold. Let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, woo, and rest. Oh, chest on fire. Oh, yeah, chest on fire. Hey, feel good, folks. I say that's the toughest exercise we'll do today, okay? So feel good about that. Get a sip of water. We're going to go into sumo jumps, okay? What sumo jumps are, squat low, in, out, in, out. You can even move your arms, but stay with a bend in your knees, like this, okay? We'll do that for 60 seconds. Get your breath together. We'll start in 15 seconds, but we'll do it non-stop for 60 seconds. Keep a good pace. If you got to slow down, that's okay. Just keep moving. We're going. Five. Four, three, two, let's go. Open, close, open, close, come on. Stay with it. But keep a bend in your knees. Stay low, okay? Out, in, out, in, out, in. Let's go. Come on. 20 seconds down, come on. Stay with it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Less than 30 seconds left. Stay with it. You can do it, folks. Come on. 20 more seconds. If you can, speed it up. Let's go. 15 seconds. Come on. 10 seconds. Let's go. 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, whoo, good job. Uh, get a sip of water. Wipe down. Back to the weights. Exercise now. Let's go. Four good exercises left, folks. Right. Next exercise will be a squat to upright row. We'll get our dumbbells, spread our feet, pull the waist like this, squat, pull the weight up, squat, pull the weight up. It's a 90 minute exercise. We'll squat and pull for 20 seconds, then we'll do 10 second holds up here. All right, is everybody ready? Get your weights. Time to square up. We're going in 10 seconds. Spread your feet. Four, three, two, let's go. Down, pull, down, pull, down. Keep the weight close to your chest. Use those shoulders. Come on. 10 more seconds, we'll get to our first hold. Keep moving, folks. Five, four, three, two, go down and hold. Keep those shoulders flexed, stomach tight. We're going back in five, four, three, two, let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Pull. Those legs should feel strong now. I'll turn sideways. Look at my form. Back straight. Pushing the butt back. Come on. We hold in five seconds. Three, two, one. And hold. Come on, folks. Stay with it. Stay upright. We're going back in five, four, three, 
Two. Let's go. Turn. Let's go. Pull. And pull. Come on. You got it. Speed it up. Come on. Let's go. Make your body work. Make that heart rate get up. Come on. Seven more seconds. We got our last hold. Three. Two. Hold. Let's go. Breathe, folks. In the nose. Out the mouth. Five. Four. Three. Two. And rest. Good job, people. Woo. Shake that off. All right. Next exercise. Alternating jump lunge holds. It's a 60 second exercise. All right, so what we'll do. Get your weight, I mean, get your breath together. All right, what we'll do, we'll get in lunge position and we'll jump from each knee. We'll go for 20 seconds and then we'll hold with one leg in the front for 10 seconds. Then we'll start back for another 20 seconds. Then we'll do a hold with the opposite leg in front, okay? So get loose, we'll start in about 15 seconds. All right, it doesn't have to be super fast and if you can't jump, just step. Step just like this, okay? All right, we're starting in 10 seconds. Get it ready. All right, so here we go. Come on. Five, four, three, two, go. Good form. Come on, stay with it. You got it. Get a good bend in that front leg. Come on. 10 seconds till our first hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And hold. My right leg's in the front. Next time, my left leg will be in the front. We start in five, four, three, two, go. Come on. 20 more seconds. Stay with it, folks. Come on. Stay with it. 10 seconds till our next hold. Don't forget to switch legs. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Stay here, folks. You got it. I know it burns. Breathe. We're done in five, four, three, two, one. Woo! And rest. All right, get a sip of water. Woo! All right, going back to the ground. Two exercises left. We're going to get to that core. All right, next exercise. We'll go to plank to low plank holds, okay? So, we get the plank. We go down, up, down, up. Okay, we'll do that for 20 seconds. And then we'll do 10 second low plank hold, just like this. Try your best to keep that back flat, okay? You know how we do it. 90 seconds total, 10 second holds, 20 second activity. Everybody ready? Work your core now, keep that core tight. Here we go, we start in 10 seconds. Start up right. All right, we're going in five, four, three, two, let's go. Down, up, down, up. Try your best to keep that back flat. Come on, 10 seconds till our first hold. Five, four, three, two, let's hold. Put your feet together and hold. Come on, we get started back. In five, four, three, two, let's go. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Come on, 10 seconds to our next hold. You got it, folks. Four, three, two, and hold. Come on, stay with it. Breathe, people. Get to the last interval. Three, two, let's go. Up, down, up, down, up, down. 10 seconds left. Down. Five. Four, three, two, down, and hold. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Hey, I don't know about y'all. That one gets it out of me. All right, folks, here we go. Wipe down, get some water. Last plyo hit exercise. Then we're on to the core. All right. What we'll do is uh, we're going to do plank climbers with sprints, okay? So this is what we do. We go regular, excuse me, sorry about that. Regular climbers, we go one, two, three. As a matter of fact, let's go to the knees. We'll go one, two, three, four. Then we'll twist them. One, two, three, four. Then we'll get on our feet. Quick feet for 20 seconds. We will do that three times. All right, folks, we ready? Let's put an end to this one. Come on, folks, we got it. We go in seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four. Now cross. One, two, three, four. Get on your feet. Let's go. Quick feet. Come on, quick feet. Move the arms. 20 seconds, just like this. Come on. 15 seconds left. Let's go. You ain't got to pull the feet high. Move the feet quick. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, to the ground. Let's go. Knee to elbow. One, two, three. Let's cross. One, two, three. Get up. Quick feet. Come on. 20 more seconds. Stay with it. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, to the ground. Knee to elbow. 1, 2, 3. Let's cross over. 1, 2, 3, 4. Get up. Quick feet. Last 20 seconds. Come on, you got it. Stay with it. Come on. Breathe, people. We're going in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Woo! Wasn't that fun? All right. On to the core. Get your mats if you got one. If not, don't worry. Get a sip of water. Whew. I'll be right back. Connection, make sure I didn't lose anybody. Oh, we still holding strong. Let's go, folks. Here we go. All right, first exercise is gonna be a regular crunch. So, what we'll do is we'll put feet in the air, cross them, hands behind your head. Do not lock your fingers, put your fingertips right on the back corners of your head, crunch just like this. Okay, try to get your shoulder blades off the ground and crunch. If having your feet in there is too much of a struggle, no problem. Put your feet in the ground and crunch. But you want to get those shoulder blades off the ground, okay? And don't pull with your hands. All right, here we go. We're going to do 20 reps. And make sure you get a good flex at the top. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. That's one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Legs at the top. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. When you have your feet crossed like that, try to switch over the cross feet every 10 reps. Okay, next exercise. It's going to be what we call a Russian twist. I'll get my 10-pound dumbbell. I'll sit with my feet out. Okay, I'll hold the weight, I'll lean back, and we'll basically twist and let our elbows tap the ground, okay? You can do it that way, or you can hold your feet in the air, however you want to play it, but we're going to do 20 reps. Now remember, every time we touch an elbow to each side, that equals one rep, so it's boom, one, boom, two, so we'll do 20 reps total that way. If you got to sit the weight down, that's perfectly okay. Keep an angle in your back, your stomach tight, touch those elbows to the ground, okay? You can do it with your feet in the air or your feet on the ground, either way. All right, here we go. Weight to our chest. Lean back. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Boom. That's one. Two. Try to get a twist. Three. Four. You feel those obliques working. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, eleven, come on. Do the feet down to catch your twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Woo! That's a burner. All right, next exercise is what we call the hip ups. So we'll lean back, there's two options for this. You can lean back right here, cross your feet, and bring your knees into your chest. Don't forget to do the foot overlap switch, okay? When your feet are crossed, go 10 with your feet one way, switch them 10 the next way. You're gonna wrap it up a little bit. You got a good strong core, lean back, hands off the ground, and do your, oh, I'm sorry, matter of fact, you know what? That is the wrong exercise. I got too excited. Let's go with our hip ups. We're in a central row. To the ground. Hands planted here. Feet in the air. Lifting your butt off the ground. That should give our upper core a little break. I was about to burn y'all out. Okay, so we're gonna do the hip ups. Press your hands to the ground. Feet here. Raise your butt. All right. We don't want you doing this. This is not what we want. We want our feet right here. Raising that butt off the ground using your core. 20 reps. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go. One. Reset. Two. Reset. Three. Reset. Four. Reset. Five. Reset. Six. Seven. Feel it in the lower core. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, come on, 15, 16, 17, 18, two more, 19, last one, 20, Woo! sit those legs down, get a sip of water, Ooh, I couldn't even get up, all right, now we will do our cross leg tucks. It's the exercise I basically explained a minute ago. You'll lean back, bring your feet in and out just like that. Or if you're feeling froggy, hands off the ground in the air to help you hold your balance and do your, excuse me, hit your knee tucks that way. All right, get your breath together. We'll start in about 10 seconds. Wipe your face. Don't drink too much water. We don't want to overdo it. Because we are moving at a pretty good pace. All right, we're going in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Switch feet. 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! Take a break. All right. Next exercise is going to be what's called a cobra. A lot of times when we work out core, we forget about the fact that muscles in our back are a part of our core. Your core isn't just your front abs. It's your obliques and the muscles that help keep your spine under control. We'll get to the ground. Face first, hands off the ground, slight raise up. Shoulder blades back, lifting your chest off the ground and flexing it. We'll do that for 20 reps. Here we go. Don't forget, now in this case, don't breathe out on the way in. Breathe in on the way up. Ready? Just like that. So your belly should be pushing against the floor when you raise yourself off the ground. That's to help you with your core stability. 20 reps. We're going in three, two, one. That's one, two, Three, four, press those feet in the ground, flex that butt, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. Off the ground. All right, next exercise is what's called the Spider-Man Crunch. And the reason they call it Spider-Man Crunch is because, and I'll go front way, when you get into your plank, you go knee to elbow, just like that. Kind of like how Spider-Man crawls. So what we'll do is we'll alternate legs, doing 10 reps to each side. So one rep to the left, one rep to the right equals one rep, and we'll do 10 of those. All right, let's get up. I'll turn sideways so you can see my form. Get into a plank position. And we're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Flex. That's one. Here's number two. Here's number three. Here's number four. Here's number five. Here's number six. Here's number seven. Here's number eight. Here's number nine. Here we go. Last two. Bam. Good job. Woo. All right. Next exercise is what's called a bucket drop. And this will probably be the toughest exercise we do for the court day. Good thing is, we only got three exercises left. All right. So for a bucket drop, what you will do is you'll get into a push-up position. All right. You'll go here. You'll turn the leg and put the side of your thigh on the ground. Okay? Just like that. If you can... Do 10 each side. If you can't, just stick with five and we'll be good to go. But try to turn your hip and put this part of your butt on the ground. Just let it skim the ground and raise back up. It's going to require you to put a slight bend in your elbows like you're doing a half push-up. But it's doable, okay? It's great for the core. Here we go, folks. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. That's one. Two. Three, four, five, advance, stay with me, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. Woo! Hey, that takes a lot out of it. Next exercise. We'll do one arm planks, okay? And we'll open up to a side plank. So, I'll get the mat out of the way. And what we'll do is we'll get one dumbbell. We'll do one side at a time, 10 reps each. We'll get in the plank position, hold, turn our body, and up, and then back down. And we'll do 10 reps like that. So, I have to weight in my right arm first. 10 reps that way, and then I switch to my left hand and do them like that, okay? We want to make sure we keep that body straight. We don't need a sag. Keep it straight and strong. We're working our obliques once again, and we're also strengthening our spine. We can't have a curve in that spine. We got to keep it rigid. That's how we work the muscles. Here we go. We're going to five, four, three, two, let's go. Turn. Notice how I position my foot and wrap it around. That's one. Keep the weight close to your body. 
Look, I'm scrubbing my chest. That's three. Four. Come on. Five. Six. Seven. Come on. We got three more. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Then we switch sides. And ten. Come down. And we'll switch. All right. Weight in my left hand now. Get yourself together. Get your breath ready. And we're going. On three, two, one. Let's go. One. Two. Weight close to your body. Three. Look at the trigger. My feet are the trigger. Four. Five. Come on. Halfway there. Six. Seven. Three more. Go back flat. Come up. Eight. Two more. Nine. One more. And ten. Woo. Good job. All right. Get the weights out of the way. Get a sip of water. Last exercise is what we call windshield wipers. All right. In these wipers, you lay on the ground. And we plant our feet or our hands into the ground, feet in the air, and we go as far as we can. Like maybe even to a point like this. We don't want the opposite shoulder to come off the ground. When you feel the opposite shoulder coming off the ground, you stop and go back the other direction. So my range is gonna be from here, stop, go back, and stop, okay? Some people can go further, depending on how flexible they are in their spine and how strong their obliques are. We're gonna do 10 reps each side. Plant those hands in the ground. Really use your core to move your legs. Don't use your legs to move your legs. Treat your legs like weights. And twist that core and bring those legs back and forth. All right, feet in the air, we're going in three, two, one. Press those hands on the ground. There's my stop, come back. That's one. That's two. Come on, folks, this is it. That's three. That's four. That's five. Keep that opposite shoulder down. Work that core. Six. Come on. Seven. Eight. Come on, two more each side. Nine. Last one. And ten. Good job. All right, people. Stay on the ground. Stretch out your feet. Stretch out your arms. Like somebody's pulling your body to the war style. Loosen yourself up that way. Good job today. Woo, today was a tough workout. We combined two really good combinations just to really push your limits. We don't want to hit you with the norm. We want to step it up a little bit. All right. On the ground we go. Matter of fact, we'll get to our stomach and we'll do a cobra. Pull the shirt down. You don't see all the back All right. Cobra here, we get here and we push ourselves up just like this to stretch that core. Pull those shoulders down, lean that head back. All right, if you can get your feet on you, roll forward and go into that whole what is this? upward dog pose. There you go, stretch out those hamstrings. All right, now it's time to work on the legs. Go into that runner's lunge, okay? One foot on the, one hand on the ground, turn the body, stretch that out. Good job. Sit upright. Really stretch that hip flexor, okay? Let's turn, switch it, upright. Really work that hip flexor, get into it. Hand on the ground, turn and twist. Good job, folks. Turn to the middle, get low. Elbows inside the knees. And now that I'm in a good spot, I want to say thank you guys for joining us today. We appreciate you hitting this tough workout with us. As you can see, 
I don't structure these workouts to where it's easy for me. I'm sweating over here, I'm breathing heavy. Push to the inside of the thigh. Because I want to make sure to show you guys that regardless of your fitness level, these workouts are still effective. Switch, opposite side. You know, it takes a lot to get up on a Saturday and get workouts done like this. Stand up, it shows that you're committed to something, trying to be better with your overall fitness. Bounce on one leg, pull that quad behind. Whew. And it's really about getting better every day. So, stay with it, folks. Shout out to everybody who's been down with us since day one. My folks in California, Oregon, Texas, Louisiana. Where we at? Alabama, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, Ohio, New York. We definitely appreciate you guys. Stretch across your body. Look, and if you're trying to take things to the next level, hey, consider joining us for our fitness and accountability groups. We stream workouts to your house. We help you select a program that fits your fitness goals. We train you on the ways to get better nutrition, and our whole thing is more than just losing weight. It's about transforming your body to where you can become a more fit person and help you get the most out of your body and your overall quality of life. No question is a dumb question. If you're curious about it, make sure you give me a holler. I can give you the details of how it goes down. It's a private group with a few other people trying to achieve similar goals, all private on Facebook, not open to the public, so it's very discreet, and it helps you kind of focus in with other like-minded people. So give it some thought, give me a holly if you're interested, but if you want to stick with the free workouts we do on Wednesdays and Saturdays, that's cool. This is an example of what we do, but just on a more frequent basis. Some of our programs go three weeks, all the way to 13 weeks. Some of them involve exercising four times a week. Some involve exercising seven days a week. It all depends on what your goals are, so just keep that in mind. Most importantly, shout out to the Grizzle Gang, man. We appreciate you guys. And don't forget, if you haven't been yet, go check us out at hustlinggrizzle.com. Check out the shop, get you that fresh model too. Work out in it, take a picture, send it to me. We can put it on our social media page. We appreciate the love from our Grizzle Gang. Check us out, stick with us. We appreciate the support we get here. Shout out to the wife for holding it down. She'll be back in a minute. Got one of the boys in the back, the other boys out in the streets. Thank you for keeping the sanity here to allow me to do what I do, man. Most importantly, folks, take care of yourself. Stretch, hydrate, eat well, and feel good about yourself. We appreciate you having us. Well, we appreciate you joining us today. And uh, if you got some ideas for new workouts, give me a holler. I see what I can put together just to accommodate some of your needs. I'm here for the people. Uh, with all that being said, take care of yourself this weekend, and we'll see y'all on Wednesday. Thank you.